I'd like to share with you one of my most favorite discoveries of all time that I've made. And it's hidden in the mathematics of nature called the Fibonacci sequence. And inside the Fibonacci sequence, there is a 24 code, a 24 repeating pattern. But there's another um, important code that was discovered by a French mathematician 200 years ago. And it was called the 60 code. And the way we got the 60 code from the Fibonacci numbers was by looking at the final digits. So when I say final digits, it means we're taking away 10, 10, 10. So if we, if we start off with Fibonacci numbers, one and one is two, one and two is three, three and five is eight, five and eight is 13. So when I get to 13 here, it is 13, but if I took away 10 from that, we know that the final digit is three. So this is called mod 10 or final digits or end digits. The next number eight and 13, is a 21 and we look at the last digit is the one so what we're looking for as um mathematical pattern hunters is we're looking for repetition or repeatability because the the fibonacci sequence is an infinite additive sequence we don't know where it goes so by applying subtraction from nine or ten as in, in this case ten we're looking for uh, some symmetry the first symmetry we found is that it repeats you start from here, and as we study these numbers going around in the circle, we realize that um, it repeats all again after the 60th digit. Yeah, so after the 60th digit. And, um, and we'll notice here that there's some symmetry straight away. We've got every fifth digit happens to be divisible by five. So every fifth Fibonacci number five, this Fibonacci number is 55, and the last... So that's why it's a five. This Fibonacci number here is actually called 610. And and the la and so 610 is divisible by five. But it works out every fifth digit gives us five times 12 is 60. So we've got this beautiful cross, um, um, the, this division, the spokes of a wheel, the 12 spoke wheel, which is a cosmic cycle, especially in astronomy and astrology. So what's interesting is the four circle, uh, the, the cross in this wheel are all zero. So there's a zero here, there's a zero there, there's a zero here, and, there's, and it starts off with the zero. So the, the, fours, the four crosses, the four arms of the cross are zeros, and everything in between, every fifth division is a five, divisible by five. Um, and I published this in one of my most favorite books. It's called The Divine Proportion. It's actually a workbook. And in this workbook, um, I, this is, you know, for teenagers. These are for, for any ages. We've got over here all the Fibonacci numbers. And here we, exam we, we get them to write down the final digits. So in this table. And then we're going to put all those 60 digits starting from zero around this clock. And... So this, this is actually a tribute to um, the Sumerian culture because they, they gave us this when we had 60 seconds in an hour, uh, 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. So this would be the final code here that you can see. And it, uh, like I said, it was, it was from our ancestors um, 200 years ago who gave us the 60 code. But I've discovered something really special inside of this, which is thus the title of this talk is called Harmonic one 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 so that number 1111 is powerful because one represents leadership authority power um one is also about like in when you're playing poker and you get four aces it, it trumps everything and there's also another code hidden in here hidden invisibly inside the 60 code is the, the magic number six 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 so how do they exist? So this is my discovery. What I decided to do was to look at the negative space. Instead of focusing on the zeros and the, the wheel of 12, I decided to look at all the numbers in between the um, zeros and the five. So instead of looking at one, one, two, and three as individual digits, I decided to think of it as 1,123, which is not... A common thing to do this is just something my the way my brain works and i thought well what's diametrically opposite that is is that is is these digits over here so there's another set of quad digits and remember we started from here going around so the numbers here is called nine nine eight seven it's not seven eight nine nine but think of it as 
9987. So I'm going to write, I'm going to add 9987. So these are the sum of two quad digits. So 7 and 3 is a 0. 8 and 2, um, 7 and 3 is 10, carry the 1. 1 and 8 is 9, plus the 2 is a 1, carry the 1. 10 and 1 is 11, carry the 1. 10 and 1 is 11. So here we've got 1,111. And that's why I've called it harmonic one, 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 one. So that works for these two. So if there was any truth or anything of interest in this, we would have to say, do these two, do, does the sum of eight, three, one, four, does eight, three, one, four, that, those quad, does that also, um, if we add up the opposite, two, seven, nine, six. So these four here, two, seven, nine, six. So if we added two seven nine six to this, um, is it two seven? Yeah, we also get the the one 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 one. Oh, sorry, this is eight three one four here. So if we if we added eight three one four plus its opposite here two seven nine six, you can see we also get um, one eleven thousand eleven thousand one hundred and ten. But in harmonics, we cross off the zero and that leaves one, 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 one. So that was an interesting discovery. Um, yes, um, so I was really proud of that one. And um, so the sum, then you could say, well, what's the sum of all the digits? So if I added these quad numbers, one, 1,123 plus 8,314 plus 9,437 plus 7,741. If I added these 12 sets of quads, so the 12 quad numbers, if you got your calculator, equals 6,660. Um, 6, 6, so 66,660. So, that, so you've got 8,000 here, 9,000, 7,000. These are all big numbers. They all add up to 66,660 which in, in harmonics we're allowed to move a decimal point and cross out the zeros. So that's harmonic 6666. So that's how we've got harmonic 111 plus 6666 in the, in the code. Um, there is more, in, this is highly encoded information here. It's universal, it's deep and profound. It's a time code. This has got to do with time because the, um, I'd like to show you that within this, wheel of 60 there's a embedded another wheel of 24 so i'll just grab that for you so um so you can see here i decided to get i decided to get artistic and i want to show you that um if you because we're all in because we're all not allowed to go outside during this special time of um the pandemic this is a time to go inside and do all this creative stuff that you'd like to do and projects that have been put aside so now here's the time so i've decided i'm going to take the 60 code and so there's the 60 code going on the outside here these are all the quad digits we added up all the quad digits these sets of four digits to get six 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 but hidden inside of that is that instead of taking away 10 10 10 which is modulus nine we know that when we take away nine instead of ten we get a wheel of 24. So look at these numbers here. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 4, 3, 7, 1, 8, 9. It goes around and round. Those, those numbers here, they all add up to the 108, this magic Hindu number 108. Whereas the numbers up here, all in the 60 code, all the numbers opposite this number going through the middle is 1 and 9 is 10. 1 and 9 is 10, so 2 and 8 is 10, 3 and 7 is 10, and we know that 5 and 5 add up to 10, so on the 60 code, all the pairs add up to 10, but on the 24 code, all the pairs add up to 9. So I just wanted to conclude that what we're really looking at when we study the living mathematics of nature, the, the mathematics of flowers and proteins in our body and planets, is that we're looking at the numbers of time, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, this 24 pattern, 60 pattern, these are the numbers of time codes. So it's a time to really go into ourselves and examine who we are.